guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's Big Air Zero One here. It's coming out with you with a video. Uh, I'm going to do an all change and add uh, a billet kit, uh, the Zeta billet kit to uh, help accent some of my motorcycle. So, a um, couple things. Um, hope everybody had a good holiday season. And um, yeah, so uh, it's, I, I put about I guess about almost 4,000 kilometers on this oil here. So I figured it was probably about that time to um, do an oil change on this bike. So I did buy a few aftermarket uh, parts um, that I've been waiting on to show up. So it's one of the reasons why I've kind of held off and why I haven't done any videos lately. But, uh, you know, a um, couple things. Um, I bought the um, Zeta oil cover. Okay. Thing of note with this is that uh, when you buy this oil cover, it doesn't come with the little O-ring, which I'll show you um, when I open it. And uh, so you have to buy you have to buy the O-ring that comes with it, uh, which you should replace anyhow whenever you do your oil filter. So that's just to cover the oil filter. I bought a K&N oil filter for it as well, and then I also bought um, the Zeta. A magnetic uh, um, drain plug so I'm gonna use the crush washer from the bike itself um, to uh, replace the washer here um, I also um, bought the Zeta um, billet kit and I'm not going to show you how um, how to do all of it it's pretty self-explanatory if I find anything that needs to be done um, then I'll show you in this video or if anybody has any questions I'll answer them um, but I'll just show you the end result what this looks like I also got um, the uh, Zeta um, sprock, front sprocket cover and uh, for the oil I'm using a the Moltol semi-synthetic semi um, 1040 um, I went with this oil because <clears throat> I wanted to have a little bit more protection if the oil got low or um, so you have a major catastrophe. I mean, I got about 5,000 kilometers on this bike now, so putting a little bit of synthetic in uh, should be a little bit uh, better for the motor and everything. So, but um, yeah, I mean, they say that you're supposed to do oil changes, um, you know, twice a year. Um, but uh, I think I've gone a year and I've only put about 4,000 kilometers on, on my bike so um, for those of you that didn't know or how to check your oil there is a little um, little glass there okay so when the bike is sitting level um, the oil comes into the glass not sure if you can see it there but uh, see how the oil there that's how you know you have the proper amount of oil in your bike. So I think this bike, um, I'd have to look at my manual, but I think it's about a quarter and a half, and I'll uh, verify that uh, before I put it in. But um, yeah, I'll leave a description or uh, links in the description below as to where you can uh, potentially buy this stuff. Um, a lot of it you can buy on on Amazon and uh, probably eBay and stuff. So uh, let's get started. So we'll need eight mil bolts, uh, wrenches to take these off. These, these bolts off of the oil filter cover. And then you need a 12 mil um, for the drain plug. I've already warmed up my motor. Uh, I just got back from a ride, so um, it's all warmed up. So I want the oil should be good to go to drain under there. I like to take off the cap on the top when I'm draining the oil just because it lets air in to help push it out.
you're going to be looking for is any kind of potential moisture in the oil. You want to look for shavings in the oil, stuff like that that uh, can show that you're potentially inside of your motor is wearing. So tilting or leveling off the bike will help uh, um, bring some more of the oil, old oil from little crevices inside the motor. So um, just kind of give it a tilt. You can see a little bit more is coming out there. So we'll take off the oil filter cover. Okay, so this is your oil filter with uh, the little o-ring that I was telling you about is right here. That's the one. You could probably try to use the stock one, um, but I figured I'll just use a new one um, in the new uh, oil cover uh, plate. Get the rest of that oil out from under there. Inside the oil filter cover. You also want to watch, there's a little o-ring right here. You can see it there. You don't want to lose that o-ring right there. Okay, so I'm going to take the crush ring off of the old um, drain bolt. Okay, so here's my new one. As you can see, it's got a magnet on the top there um, that will help collect any kind of shavings or anything like that that you can get uh, typically from a used motor. I mean, there isn't much difference between the two of them. One's just a, it's got a magnet. It's actually, this is quite a bit heavier than this one. This one's quite light. So obviously you got to be really careful when you're installing it. New drain bolt in. Just snug it up. You're not going to over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you can obviously strip it. The new drain plug is actually a 14 mil uh, compared to the 12 that was there. Okay, so here's here's the oil filter cover that I'm putting on there. As you can see, there's no gasket right here. That's the extra piece that you could either use from your stock one. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd probably recommend buying a new gasket, which is what I did here. And that's the part number for it and it's just a rubber okay so you can see it just fits right over there really simple okay so your oil filter only goes on one way um, and you can see if you try to put it on that way it's only going to go so far it doesn't fit on there properly so you just turn it over and you do it on the deep end you just put it on there like that um, and then I'm just gonna stick it in the hole and uh, tighten up the bolts. When you tighten it up, you wanna make sure you're tightening it up evenly and don't over tighten it because it is aluminum that you're tightening into. Okay. Oil filter cover's changed. And now um, I guess the next part will be adding the oil. So um, I'll also pull out to my um, oil filter or oil filler cap. Uh, that's now going to be the Zeta filler cap. I'm going to again take the O-ring off of the stock one and put it on this one. As you can see, there's a little O-ring right here, right there on the top there. I'm just going to switch it to uh, the Zeta one because the Zeta one doesn't come with a... Uh, little rubber gasket and just slide slide it over top of the new one so before I do the fill of oil I'm gonna put the two caps uh, that are on the other side of the motorcycle so this cap here and this cap here okay it's also got another little o-ring on there that you want to make sure you put it back on on uh, the new one as you can see another o-ring in here don't forget to take these off and put them on the new one okay so 
Again, make sure you take the, the gasket or the little O-ring from your, your um, stock one and put it on there and make sure that you seat it nice and tight. And doing these, you want to make sure you probably are doing it during your oil change, just because there is oil in that's in these two compartments. Okay, because I did an oil filter change as well, I have to add 1.4 liters uh, of oil. So I'm going to add my second one. I'm only going to add about 400. So I'm going to go at about just about halfway. I'll go to the 600 mark and uh, check the oil level with this uh, little uh, glass. <clears throat> okay, so, so I've added the 1.4. You can see I'm pretty close to 600 there. So the, Tells me I'm at about 1.4. Okay, to check the oil level, you're going to want to uh, refer to this glass here. You can see there's a notch here and a notch here. Okay, so um, now that my oil is added, I'm going to um, bring it level, the bike level. You can see that the oil is within those lines there. So what I'll do is I'll fire it up. Check for any leaks and then recheck the uh, oil level. Okay, so she's all worn or uh, she's ran for a little bit. Double check your oil, make sure you're within uh, the parameters there. As you can see, I might have to add a tiny bit more oil, uh, not a lot, because when you fill it, it goes into all the crevices and, and the oil filter will take some. So I'll just add a little bit more oil. Again, you're gonna check, you're gonna check for any oil under here. We're good, any oil leaking from there. You're gonna check to make sure that there's no oil coming from the um, the drain plug. Then you're also gonna check to make sure that there's no oil coming from these new uh, covers that I put on here. So, uh, looks pretty good. I'll add a tiny bit of more oil. Okay, so I wanted to talk about uh, the sprocket cover. So I've already taken the bolts out. They're just eight mil bolts. Um, there's two parts to this cover. There's the uh, case saver, which uh, just unclips from the uh, cover itself. You're gonna wanna keep this for your new um, piece because it's gonna go something like that. So this will help protect uh, your case if your chain ever binds up in, in here um, to uh, the last thing you want is this chain coming loose and then it binds up and it cracks you for your uh, your your case so so you're gonna want to take that out with it okay so it comes the uh, the Zeta um, sprocket cover only has two um, two places to mount it but it's got three bolts so because you take three bolts out the bottom bolt is going to go, I think it's this bolt here, um, is the one that will, um, this one here is just going to be a smaller bolt that you're at the bottom one. This one right there is going to be a smaller bolt. And they provide the hardware with, with it. Okay, so you're going to use the two longer ones for the actual um, sprocket cover like this okay, it's gonna look like, like that and then the smaller bolt just goes in the bottom again you don't want to over tighten these little bolts just snug enough that they're not going to go anywhere Okay, something I wanted to show you with um, this is the front brake lever or front brake uh, reservoir. 
Okay, so as you can see, um, these two pieces are a little bit different. So the instructions tell you when you take your Zeta one, you've got to pull this little piece of uh, rubber here out. Okay, and you got to um, put the rubber piece itself on to this part, just like that. So you take the, you don't need the plastic anymore because the plastic is already out. And then you're just gonna take the piece of plastic or like that and put that on there and then screw it on. Okay, so you're gonna remove the plastic piece and just keep the rubber um, for the uh, for the brake reservoir in the front. So I got it all done now. I've got all of the Zeta pieces that I'm going to put on right now. The only one that I did not put on was the rim locks, which I don't have rim locks on this bike yet. So um, eventually I will uh, put some rim locks on this thing um, when I put some new tires on maybe. We'll see. So a couple things I wanted to point out for tips wise in regards to installing that Zeta um, billet kit. Um, your rear brake one just bolts on bolts off okay with your Zeta oil filter cover you got to get a new o-ring uh, that's got to go in here and you're gonna check for leaks after you've uh, run it a few times um, your filler cap um, also needs a new o-ring um, or you can use this I just used the old one um, when I did mine um, your rear spacers um, you got to make sure you put it on the right way. So one of them is flat And if you look at the other side here, it's got some grooves that it locks into so you just got to make sure that you use the right one You're probably gonna have to readjust your chain after because they are a little bit different uh, Where the notches are but um, for the most part um, Just make sure you put these on on the right side um, The I mean the, those are pretty self-explanatory. They just screw right on your little nozzle caps there. Um, I would recommend changing these engine caps um, when you do your oil change. That's kind of why I waited because I was kind of worried that there would be oil behind here. Of course there is. So um, it was easier to change during an oil change. Um, and when you install your um, when you install your chain guard, you got to take the stock uh, case saver that's on the back, which I showed just a little bit earlier. Um, to attach it and use all the bolts. Um, what I did mention in as part of that Zeta package was that it, it did come with bolts. So even though I had lost some bolts, it still came with the proper bolts, which I did, excuse me, which I didn't notice in the package, but they were there. So sweet, kind of happy about that. Um, and then the last thing is, is to make sure that you use the rubber um, from your, um, from your front brake reservoir that stock and slip it on over top of the um, the new Zeta cover and then you can take your plastic um, piece and just keep it safe somewhere where you're not going to use it anymore so um, yeah so that's it if you guys had any questions uh, in regards to um, the installation of this parts or the oil change itself definitely leave a comment below um, I will leave a links in the description below as to where you can purchase some of these parts um, I may not have all of them I think the o-ring I had to get from the dealership but I mean it costs like four dollars so um, at, the, at the very least you could probably use um, your old one but it's not recommended um, if you like this video uh, definitely like it or share it with your friends uh, the more people that like and share it the more popular this video gets so Definitely appreciate all the feedback and uh, all, all anything I can do to help out some of you guys that uh, have uh, these motorcycles and tips. Um, if you want to check out my channel, I've got lots of, I've got every single mod that I've done to this bike um, on my channel. Um, and uh, if you want to subscribe, you get to see all the new ones that come out uh, in regards to this bike. So um, thanks for watching.